Hey guys, it's MJ from Endless RVing, and behind me is the smallest luxury diesel pusher on the market. It is the Newmar New Air 3343. You're not going to want to miss it. at the interior of this dirty 343 you're looking in now guys this is going to be a luxury line this is the luxury line for Newmar but this is if you want the small package but you don't want to give up that luxury the new wear is the option uh, a Freightliner chassis Freightliner custom chassis side mounted radiator let us start in the cockpit here you go all digital dash and you have uh, two digital screens here. You can go and serve if you want. <laughs> you have your. You have the uh, windshield shade. Nice hard. Hardwood cabinetry. Very nice. Move it over. You got your control panel up here on the left, uh, right in the middle. And some more storage. All the luxury in a small package. So going down the passenger side, you have the booth here with a TV on the televator. And you got some cabinets overhead. Underneath these booths, there's always storage. MJ always has a hard time opening it. Oh, but she got it right this time. There you go. No faith. <laughs> These are going to be, this is an all-electric coach. And you're going to have the tile flooring. I don't know if this is heated, but it probably is. Uh, passenger side here. Sorry, driver's side. You have a pretty wide couch here. I don't know if that folds out, but I'm going to yeah. assume that's going to fold out to yep. a bed. Yeah, tri-fold bed underneath cabinets, all hardwood. Okay, this is a two slide. We'll have to look on the outside, but it does have the full wall super slide. Now you have a fireplace along with the cabinet up top. And then going along on the kitchen here, big sink, cabinets below, garbage can. show the induction cooktop true induction, induction cooktop and you got the whirlpool convection microwave along with a Fisher Paykel dishwasher below see I always struggle with the dishwasher you don't have to open it you've done it it works all right continuing this is a little weird you have the refrigerators almost like in the basement I mean sorry in the bedroom so you have your big refrigerator, residential size, French doors with the freezer below. Continuing toward the bedroom, this is where you're going to start shrinking a little. This is your pantry. Nice, ooh, LED lights in the pantry, yeah. very nice. I like that. This is actually a lot bigger inside than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I like the vaulted ceilings. Let me get a shot of this bedroom. Yeah, you see the vaulted nice. ceilings? It gives you some good room. All right, washer dryer and a 33 footer, impressive. And now look at over here, you got the TV mounted along with some cabinets, drawers, lots of drawers. And then you wanna get the, the back closet here. Back closet with shelving a and a safe i don't know if you're going to get it yeah it's back here bedroom this looks like a king right uh, i'm not sure i think it might be king i'm not sure if that's a king or a queen yeah it looks close to 
some shelves, I'm sorry, uh, cabinets overhead. And you have your convenient, convenient uh, outlets. Nice pocket door. All right, fancy. All touch controls over here. This is a little stuck. And there's your control for your slide out. This is from the back. You can see the shot of what it looks like, and then we'll go into the bathroom. All right, one bath on here, nicely tiled out on the sink. Backsplash. If you're super tall, it may be a little. Uh, Get MJ on the mirror here. Because I'm five nine, so if you're really tall, guys or ladies, mm -hmm. it'll be close. And you got your escape hatch here. Mm -hmm. The evacuation door. Let me just get into that shower. Nice tile, shower, fantastic fan above. And you have a nice step in shower, making all, all what you have of the space. It's tiled from head to toe. Continuing down the driver's side, you have the couch again, more cabinets up above, nice windows. I like this window behind you, that long window. Yeah, it is nice. It's pretty nice, you know, let the light in. We used to be so good together, like Bonnie and Clyde, eat that kind of vibe, a love that couldn't last forever, explosive ride. Here we are outside guys, you're gonna have uh, in the front here, you're gonna have your generator mounted. I don't know what size generator it is because we can't see it. It's, it's probably gonna be at least 5,500 if not a, a 7,500, 8,000. You got your side mounted cameras. You turn the signals on, those cameras will show your blind spots, okay? You have your exhaust for your generator. Coming along, you got one uh, smaller slide here in the living room area by the couch. Nice cover awning over the window, and you have your slide topper. If you look up top, you have the integrated awnings. Those are going to go over the integrated right into the body. Those are the more expensive, cleaner ones. Keep going along. Here's your escape hatch that we showed you in the bathroom. And you also have another camera over here, as well as a light, which would be really useful when you're pulling into a dark camping spot. Here is your Oasis Chinook system. This is an all electric coach. It's gonna have the uh, hydronic heating system that's gonna be both electric and diesel fired that will be responsible for your heating as well as your hot water and also your floors that'll heat up. Here you see the exhaust here. That's gonna be the exhaust for the uh, Oasis system. Here's your wet bay. I'm not gonna go through all, all through it, guys, but this is gonna be your, your fill up dump station right here. This is a uh, single axle. It doesn't have a tag. Um, you're gonna be riding on 305, 70, 22.5, so you got some good meat here. This will have the air ride suspension. And what's really cool here, What's really cool is the side mounted radiator, which is what you want. Uh, easier to access the motor. Come along the back here. You can see through that, you can see a, a clear shot of the motor. All LED lights in the back. Here's your exhaust system. It's gonna be on the Freightliner uh, custom chassis, 360 horsepower, which is a decent amount for a coach of this size. Probably gonna give you eight to $10,000 eight to ten thousand pounds of towing capacity so we're now on the passenger side you have your nice grab handle with the uh, combo entrance if you look at the steps you see that chromed out finish those will fold into when they close in they'll fold up into the uh, the body on the passenger side you have the full wall slide super slide okay also on here you're going to have the outdoor television samsung television with the bose soundbar also uh, access to plugs outlets here 110 outlets you have one two three four 110 outlets 
another camera up top as well as your marker lights and just take a shot going down these slides here get one of these storage bins so just to show the storage in here again with these these class 8 diesels you have a lot of storage in here again a luxury class a diesel and a compact size you would expect something like the Dometic you have a Dometic refrigerator freezer on the pull out slide there's your inverter and also look at the details here again when you get your your luxury um, diesel you can see the the markings on the slide it's also following the paint scheme Thank you for joining us for the tour of the smallest luxury Class A on the market, the Newmar New Air 3343. Guys, we invite you to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you know anybody that's looking for that luxury diesel pusher but they don't want to deal with that big size, send them this video, share it. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. We're at the Tampa RV Show. We thank you guys for joining us. For myself and MJ, we hope to see you on the road.